Myself, he hadn't played so many matches coming into the Davis Cup tie. So I knew, you know, maybe it's a possibility if he wasn't feeling so good, I could play. So um, basically, the whole week I was practicing and training as if I would play one of the days. I wasn't sure if I was, maybe I wasn't, but um, even then, I was just practicing like like I would need to play one match. So I think I came in, uh, I came in ready for to play. What happened to you today at the break points? Uh, I had so many break points and. You know, I just, uh, maybe it's because I haven't played so many matches in the last little while, but I didn't convert, uh, I converted only one break point, and I had maybe 15. And uh, I think it just, uh, I came, came up short on, on too many of the important points. Okay. What are your thoughts about the upcoming game? I think it's, uh, you know, it's a very important game, and uh, you know, Amir Weintraub, he played, he played well on the Friday against Milos, and Vashik's been playing really well this whole summer, so I think, uh, you know, it won't be, won't be easy for anyone, I think. And uh, it should, should be a good match, and I think, uh, you know, I have full confidence in Vashik that he can win, and I think it'll be a tough match either way. It was the first, first day stop match for Canada? This no. one? No. This one, no. no. Were you excited? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was. I think my first Davis Cup match, live one, and since one year ago when I played, we played Dominican Republic at home, and you know that was kind of easy, but uh, it was my first tough, tough, tough day, uh, Davis Cup match, live one in a, in a while. So for me, it was important. I was excited to play, and uh, you know I did my best, but I just, I just came up short on too many important points. Please, more questions. Thank you very much. Thank you.